Hello good viewers, welcome back once again. Today we have to solve for the values of x in the following given equation. We have x root x raised to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of root x. Before we proceed, we need to take note that x cannot be equal to 0, right? Because here, 0 to the power of 0 is undefined, right? So x is not going to be equal to 0. But there are other two solutions left. Let's find the other solutions. Now, for this bracket here, we have x to the power of 1, right? Multiplied by root x is same as x to the power of 1 over 2. Then, raised to the power of x, this is equal to x to the power of square root of x. Now from here, remember this property, a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c. This is same as a to the power of b plus c. So from here in the bracket, we have x to the power of 1 plus 1 over 2. Then to the power of x, this is equal to x raised to the power of root x. So from here, we have in the bracket x to the power of 1 plus 1 over 2. That will give us 3 all over 2. Then, raised power of x, this will give us x root x. Okay, now let us recall another property. a to the power of b in bracket to the power of c. This is the same as a to the power of b times c. So from here, this will become x to the power of 3 over 2 times x will give us 3x all over 2. This is equal to x raised power of root x. Okay, now from here, we can actually equate the power since we have equal basis. But when you equate the powers, we also arrive at x is equal to 0 and another rational solution. But do not forget that carefully looking at this equation, 1 is a trivial solution, right? Because 1 times root 1 is 1, raised power of 1, that will give us 1. And here 1 to the power of root 1 is also 1. So 1 is a solution. How do we find it? Now, what I did here is I introduced the natural logarithm. So here we have to ln both sides, right? So ln of x to the power of 3 over 2. This is equal to the ln of x to the power of root x. Now, with the property of logarithm, you know, this is coming over. Are we? So we have here 3x over 2 multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. This is equal to root of x times the natural log of x. Now let's subtract root of x times the natural log of x from both sides. So here we have 3x all over 2 times the natural log of x minus root of x times the natural log of x and this is equal to 0. So from here we have a common factor and that will be the natural log of x, right? Then into bracket 3x all over 2 minus root x, this is equal to 0. So from here, this implies that the natural log of x is equal to 0. And we also have what is in the bracket, 3x all over 2 minus root x. This is also equal to 0. So from here, we have to solve for x. And x is equal to e to the power of 0. And that will give us 1. Amazing. So here we have arrived at the solution, which is at x equals 1. So from here, this root x crossing over, right? So here we get 3x all over 2. This is equal to root x. Now let us square both sides. From the right here, we have, sorry, I mean from the left, we have 3x squared will give us 9x squared. Then all over here, we have 4, right? Then this is equal to x. Okay. Now, this equation, let's finish it here. So, from there, we have 9x squared. This is equal to 4x. When you cross multiply, from here, 9x squared minus 4x. This is equal to 0. Factor out x, and here we have 9x minus 4. This is equal to 0. So, from here, this implies that x is equal to 0, and we already know that x cannot be 0, right? And we have... 9x minus 4 is equal to 0. And when 4 crosses over, we get 9x is equal to 4. 
Divide both sides by 9, we get x is equal to 4 over 9. And this is a solution. So here we arrive at the solutions. The right solution to the question is x is equal to 1 and also x is equal to 4 all over 9. And these are the only two real solutions that satisfy the given equation. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also like, comment and share. Bye-bye.